Hello, human-shaped friends. Uh, this time around, I have painted a little duck skull. Yep, that's what I did. This that that's what this is. <laughs> I think ducks are cute. My partner thinks ducks are adorable. You might be sitting there thinking to yourself, well, what's the difference? Well, I'm here to tell you. I think they're cute. I look at a duck. I go, that's cute. My partner looks at a duck. They think, I want a duck pond and I want my own ducks. That is the difference between cute and adorable. <laughs> I have agreed. If the day ever comes where there, you know, the housing market crashes and we both are employed so we can actually afford a house, heck yeah, let's get us a duck pond. Duck eggs are really tasty. Not why I want a duck pond. Just kind of a weird side bit. Duck eggs, they're tasty. Um, but yeah, no, I think ducks would be cute, especially if I don't have to actively take care of them. Because... I don't know. Birds kind of scare me. Couldn't really tell you why. But my partner really wants a duck pond with little ducks. Cool. I believe my exact words were one of them has to be a black duck because I am a goth <laughs> and I want one duck that I can look at and be like, I resonate with you. Yes, you are my dark brethren. And then, you know, my partner can get like a cute little like white one or dotted one. I, I don't actually know I think I think they're red-headed ducks, but it's literally just like their head is red. I don't know. I don't know a lot about ducks. I don't know a lot about duck domestication. Or if we would have to get permission from the city to have a duck pond. I don't know. <laughs> Again, this is all happening in that imaginary future where we can actually afford a house because everything's on fire anyway. Brighter topic. Ducks. I don't know. There's the duck stamp that happens every year. Fundraising. Huzzah. John Oliver did a segment on it. Uh, <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> Sorry. Can you, can you imagine? Can you imagine the host of an HBO comedy news show reaching out to me and being like, Hey, could you mention that one video I did like two years ago? Yeah, that, that didn't happen. That hasn't happened. <laughs> yeah, some people really like ducks. Like my partner. I look at ducks and I just think to myself, boy, howdy, I am happy you are not a goose. Because I don't like geese. I think geese are terrifying. Like, they're mean. Geese are mean. This is something my partner and I fervently disagree on fervently I think fervent because it's not fever I think it's fervent I'm sticking with fervent this is something my partner and I disagree on I think geese are scary and mean they look at a goose and go it's a goose what's your point <laughs> now evidently my partner is in the boat of you could just yeet the goose if it gets too close or if it's being aggressive but that would be putting my hands close enough to the goose that it could bite me and i don't want to get bit by a goose <laughs> would i run no but I don't go outside very often. And when I do, I'm with other people. So I think I would just look at the other person expectingly like, okay, it is time for you to yeet the goose. Why do I have to yeet the goose? Because I'm not yeeting the goose. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's how it would go. That's how I see that playing out. Unless I'm with my partner, in which case my partner would definitely yeet a goose. My partner would yeet a goose. My partner, who is just the biggest, bestest, smushiest animal lover. I mean, the way that animals are drawn to my partner. I am jealous. I wish animals were drawn to me that way. 
But if I was scared, my partner would eat a goose for me. Which is why we would have a duck pond. And not a goose pond. But yeah, that's my painting. Uh, that's what I got. Talk to you next time. Bye. <laughs>